Hi. My name is Raleigh, and I'm a sophomore at Duchenne Academy. We're organ shopping! Curled up on my mother's bed, we watched a science documentary. The familiar voice of Neil deGrasse Tyson detailed the makeup of the sun. Energy and radiation, light produced from collision. The beauty of particles crashing into each other and creating universes stoked my spark of a heart into life. Imagination set me aloft, the air swirling around me laced with dreams. I constructed paper wings, traded in my fingertips for crinkling white feathers reaching for the sun. A girl falls in love with doing the impossible, with finding her son something high up and warm. Maybe she didn't realize that warmth could become stifling heat, which pushes hope back down to the ground sizzling like sidewalks in the summertime. When a girl reaches for the sun, she may burn her fingers, but the singed edges of her dreams don't obscure the images of flight she has fancied since childhood. They still reside in her heart. No one can fault a girl for dreaming. It's only later when they call it selfish or prideful or presumptuous, but it was not my hubris that sent me plummeting. I was a scarlet streak on an azure sky, and I fell. No one can fault a girl for dreaming. It is only later when they tell her the price. I become a well of red ink, impaled with too many feather quills, trying to set myself aloft blood. The scarlet current of hopes and dreams pulsing through me, that's what I paid to fly so far and then to fall a farther distance. Blood sacrificed to the icy current of the ocean, which tears feather after feather from my back. When I was little, I was fascinated by the collisions of tiny atoms within the sun. How collision lets energy and light, maybe a crumpled body crashing into the sea could create something too. A legacy brighter than the sun, except that I wasn't very bright. And as the white rimmed bubbles of a dreamer's final breath surfaced, a featherless girl had one last thing to say. It was not ambition that set me aflame underneath the scalding sun. Rather, it was the matchsticks embedded in my skin, scraping against limitations. Friction led to fire, led to a girl falling from the sky. And even as I drown, I do not learn a cruel lesson. I still reach for the sun. 